Look at my Goliath. He's getting pretty good at whipping this van and trailer around. It's not easy, folks. It's not easy. It's not easy, man. I've tried and failed multiple times. Multiple, multiple times. Petaluma, California. It's beautiful weather outside. Just finished loading in right now. You know, one day we'll be able to just have someone load in everything for us. But until that day, you know, we're just here working, working hard. Look at this guy. Can't even stop. He's too busy. It's hard work. Petaluma. At least the weather is nice. The weather is life affirming. It's life affirming. It makes loading in. And the fact that you have to be a little less superstarish, better, because it's just a beautiful day outside. Ah! California knows how to party. Hey, hey. Petaluma, hey. you smell like horse shit. <laughs> oh, we love you. We love you. The aroma of Sonoma. Did you guys know that's because we're in the Sonoma Valley right now? Yeah. Your poop smell has a lot of flavor. Mm. Mm. Me. <laughs> Goliath. The one time I don't talk. <laughs> What's happening here? Restock? Restock time. Temporary restock. On the fly. Finding out what we're fucking out of. It was a van. On the fly restock in the street. I flax with it. It's a quiet street. It's okay. Hello to the people. Hello, fans of May Day. This is your boy Flawless Legacy, and I'm here to tell y'all welcome to the venue. These guys are about to kill it. I want to be welcome to the vlog. I'm warm. I love these guys so much. I'm here to do promos, as you can see around here. It's not much, but it's, uh, it's a little something. But uh, follow me at the real flawless legacy on instagram you know how i do it promoting everybody strange music every day all day Boom. much love to tech love y'all Yeah, 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 yeah. Check one, two, one. Are you guys, are you guys both kind of? All, I, I got side posts for you guys, so I can just because you guys ready. You guys, there's no like position for you. No, no, no. Just vocals up the front. where you gotta realize like, you gotta think to yourself, what do I do, what do we do? Do we be honest? Or do we like, keep up the lie? Me and Noms, we're like tired of keeping up the lies. We're like, we're tired of doing the dance. Tired? We're fucking tired, man. 
We're in Petaluma. Petaluma. Not a lot of people here. Hot 30. It's a hot 30 people here. It's like, what do you do? You know, our boss, you know, Tech Nine, he would do heavy shows years ago, as many great artists have had. And what do you do? You just gotta go out there and do your fucking best. You gotta just go out there and fucking play like you're playing to a sold out fucking arena. Uh, so here I we are in Petaluma in the Red Room. Like, my dude's keeping being productive. He's getting some work done, though. A little bit, you know what I mean? You can't even see it on there. It's a little dark, you know what I'm saying? It's a little dark. But my, my, dude's, my dude's getting some work done. So that's what's happening right now. He's working. He's making some beats. Where he's being productive. Uh, Felix is. I don't know what Felix is doing. What are you doing? Just chilling. Felix is just chilling. He's being ill. Really. He's just being ill. It's his birthday today. The fourth time in a row. <laughs> Glyde's over here. He's he's writing jokes for his new stand-up special. It's called uh, "Stop Me If You've Heard This One." No, no, don't stop me. Stop me. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, man. That's it. So that's what we're doing. So, I'm what, actually gonna make a special of that name now. Do it, man. Do it. Put my check in the mail, okay? So Web 3's on right now. He's warming up the hot 30 that's out there. And uh, I don't know what to tell you guys, man. Fuck. It's just like these are those days when you're just like. <laughs> hey, it's Burns. It's Burns' stunt double for the day, everyone. Look. It's Lewis. It's from the from the epic. Historically dope My Miami band Winwood. If you don't know, tonight you don't know. Now you know. Burns is uh, feeling a little under the weather, so for today he's been playing the part of Burns. What's up? What's up, y'all? It's Burns here in the building, ready to kill it tonight. It's been a stressful day. Can't wait to be on stage. Let some steam out, you know, for y'all. <laughs> The next year, when we go to do our next headlining tour, which will be like, what, our third headlining tour, will you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come back and party with us tonight here? Maybe we'll right on Friday again, maybe we'll see some more. We'll get closer to the weekend for you. We'll try to make it all ages as fast as we're all on. All right, well, I guess that's our time. Y'all had a good time? Everybody cool? Everybody cool? Everybody cool? Everybody cool? Everybody cool? Everybody cool? Look at the, the bodyguards over here. Bring it. Oh shit, there's only one way to end a show in Petaluma, California. It's with a little basketball wives brawl. Now she waits to six mother got me clamped down and I can't move my arms to swing. She can't swing. Whack bitch. Whack ass bitch. Ready? Uh huh. Okay. Justin, 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 Justin,
Santa Cruz, we're back. It's nice and chill here. Beautiful day. It's a good opportunity to get away from everybody. Get a little fresh air for a second, take a little walk. It feels kind of quiet here this time, so I don't know. That's That could be a bad sign for the show. I feel like week four episode might be a little bit somber. Might be a little negative. And we're gonna try and flip it up into positive vibes for right now. Uh, the good thing about Santa Cruz has got a lot of good memories here. The last couple of times we've been here have been amazing. Um, last time I was here with Tech, show was slamming, and it was my wedding day, low key, so that's positive. And the time before that, uh, I was here with Potluck, and we all got really, really intoxicated, I guess is the word I want to use. But it's a great place to come, beautiful spot. Santa Cruz. All right, some days you have great days. Some days you have kind of rough days when you're on tour. I mean, in life in general, but when you're on tour, I think some people think that every day is like a party and every day is like a beautiful thing, but it's not, it's not every day. Um, so I think the cool thing about doing these vlogs is that I'm like trying to not be super hyper critical of the editing of what I like show you and what I don't show you and what I tell you and what I don't tell you because I don't know it's kind of cool to see how the shit really goes down I feel like that's the purpose that's why people like vlogs right because you see what the fuck is really going on so anyways on a night like tonight when we're in Santa Ana and the promoter has bailed on us I'm not gonna bad mouth him I don't know what the situation is but the promoter bailed on us and kind of dropped the ball on the show so we're working directly with the venue it's kind of like a clusterfuck but on nights like this, there's things that go, just like kind of touch your soul. You know, when you go out and you meet people in the crowd, you meet some people that have come to the show from far away. You meet people that have been touched by your music. I met a dude named Luke today in the meet and greet that like had super nice things to say about our projects and our music and stuff from my War Within album that like helped him in a real dark time. Like those things help fuel us on the road. And another thing that I wanted to show y'all that helps fuel us on the road are things like this right here. If you remember uh, just recently, I sh you saw a clip of the homie Gia and her daughter, Mia. Um, they were kicking it with us in, I don't even remember what city we're in now. They were kicking it with us in the uh, Sacramento show and uh, G also came to the Santa Cruz show and she brought us goodie bags, personalized goodie bags for the whole tour. Everybody on the tour got one. I don't know if she knows that I'm a South Park fanatic, but, or she just happened to make South Park characters of everybody in Mayday, but she made us like my little personalized South Park character. So she brings us goodie bags. She brought us like some of the illest ones. And this isn't part of it. These are my Panera bread chips. Cheez Its, it's a must. Now she knows that I'm obsessed with candy from my homeland. Something about the chocolate in the UK is just better. She brought me dairy milk, Aero Bar, come on. Maltesers, I'm not super big on Maltesers, but they can get the business. This shit already got body, but I wanted to show y'all this. If you're a chocolate fan like me, the Aero Moose Bars, these are, that's new. I don't know, Gio, wherever you found that, props on that. Ludens, the ill cough drops, you know what I'm saying? Those are a must. Arrow, but the mint flavor. Excedrin, come on, it's a must for touring musician, Excedrin. Um, another Arrow bar, can never have too much chocolate. Never have too much chocolate, what else we got? 
We got the fruit pastilles. These are fire, straight from the UK. And fruit gums, also fire. And then these I've never seen before. Oven baked cashews with Marmite flavor. My mom will fucking go ape shit for these. She loves Marmite. Um, Marmite's like a, if you're not familiar, it's like a spread. I don't even know how, it's like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a yeast extract spread or something like that. Um, it's a very acquired taste. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm probably gonna fuck these up. And then, Gia is the ill. Gia's like something of like a special investigator. Like she will find ill shit. Like she's like the Nardwar of fans. Like she's found stuff from my past and like my family's history that like I barely knew about, which was tough. Um, so she found this, this is a, I don't know if you can see this. For those of you who don't know, my grandfather was like a fairly famous comedian in uh, the UK. Sitting behind you, Todd Udick. The scarf, as they say in the cap, with a, with a trademark yeah. of, of Cardio the Cad. And, right. and, and all our youths and all our radio listening. And you, you St. Fanny's was the school, yes. wasn't it? That's right. Strange name for a boy's school. But... <laughs> You remind us of the old school and its days. Yes. You will see by my scarf, you will see by my cap, I belong to an old public school. But my bat is not straight and I don't play the game and I think that a sportsman's a fool. So have no illusions that I'm what I'm not. I'll tell you right now that I'm bad. My name's not Carruthers or Carstairs or Craig. I'm Cardew, the old school cat. <laughs> kind of like a big deal. His name is Cardi Robinson. She found this program online. Look at it. They were selling it for a shilling. It was for the Grand Easter football match between the famous television showbiz team and Cardi Robinson's cats. That was my grandfather, Cardi Robinson. Boom, boom, boom. So she brought me this program. This is an actual program from the event, Sunday, April 16th, 1958. So like, that's amazing, like that's amazing. So when we have a night like we have in Santa Ana tonight, it's just like stuff like this, goes a long way, okay? Goes a long way. So Gia, we love you, thank you for the goodies. I'm gonna go try and pull off a show in Santa Ana right now. I'm probably not gonna talk to y'all again until Vegas, but don't worry, because tomorrow's Vegas. I love y'all. Decided to lose forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back over here. Though. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll, we'll let you know. We'll let you know. We got the ill twenty on black. What's it gonna be? Mm. I just realized that all of this bet it very. He's high. looking at. <laughs> Look how far away he went. What do you say? I just realized I bet twenty bucks on nothing. Uh, uh, not on nothing. Zeros. Oh, zeros. That, oh. Oh, double zero. Uh -huh. that was what? Kind of I got a double zero. What the fuck? Yes. Damn. Look at this guy. Look at you. It's all right. There you go. It's like You're 40 blunts. I'm done. I got a few dollars in my pocket, but not enough if I want a bottle for my rocket. What the fuck you mean? Got friends that depend on fucking lean. Cause the world acts just too fast.